Hmm. It's been what two weeks. Today's tea is Roy Boss. Let's see. We finagled our way in there last time. Definitely lost some people, but we did manage to get in like you again with one All lady. Right. right, we need to go quell some riots or something. Bye, T. Well, there are the protesters. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution organization. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Camera conscious? Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Oh god. You are... A sight. Always gotta try to spoil milk. Um, your contribution to the cause is greatly appreciated. No, that's ours. You can't take it. <laughs> oh, thank heavens. Huh. What even is the point of this gun, really? Hello there! Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I have pamphlets! Here, take one! Hmm. Um... Yeah, why don't we go ahead and use the card oh, anyway? Yes, Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in. He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? Get out we of here. found human revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. But, off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Useless. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. How about let us know? Is there something else I can help you with? I wish you'd go away. What questions can I answer for you? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. 
Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. Why are you protesting at the clinic then? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. Uh. It falls to us to make sure the people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid te- We used to say that splitting the but now we're changing the very things that- The revolution we're after is human. This world is Icarus. Just because we can. Is there some? Oh, what a of pain! Course, if you have any other questions, you clearly missed doing real journalism. I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. Hopefully, we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. What do you think? I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the mesh net had led me to believe. I don't know. He seemed fairly deluded myself. Oh, well, I think. he didn't appear to be lying, but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. You have more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? Hiding something. Continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. Lead on. And don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. <laughs> Like ramming this bot into them. A door. Hesse bar. Where's my Hesse music? Oh, I can really go in. Yep. And yet I am. Oh. I miss my Hassy music. Why not? <laughs> Should I give it a hazy? There we go, hazy music. Yes, always yes. Freeze! 
drop the weapon. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, is that game over? Are you really sure you're a journalist? I'm not sure what you were hoping to accomplish there. If I create a ruckus, then maybe... They would... You know... Break up the protests? This rom serves up the hassy. Please don't touch the hassy rom. <laughs> Oh, he's in my bag now? Nope. Milk! Alas. I have a Hassy Points account. Um... Maybe. Sad. Maybe we should gab. Aw, that is the most adorable little rom. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? It's so moe. Um, custom model. Oh wow, you don't see a whole lot of those around. It must have taken ages to get that case looking that good with the home printer too. Impressed. Anyway, what can I get you? Drink and info? A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks! <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Uh, I guess we'll go through these. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Of course you are. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. <laughs> my priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls. In that order. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. So I'll be voting appropriately. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because I'm entitled, Bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind! Why'd they come after you? Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. I also Yikes. got neural links for VR interfacing. Hmm. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist. What more do they want? True. Climate control rob outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassy Holdings. We spent a mint on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Seems kind of expensive and wasteful. Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Otherwise, 
no touching. Um, Turing Moe? Sorry. Attack you speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable. And you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? A lot of otaku come around here. Probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. As in Japanese yeah. cartoons? I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? I've been to Tokyo twice already. Okay. The old otaku resist the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Saishi? Oh, sorry. The Saiba Shibito. Cyber Day. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games, are created by the Saishi. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip, especially for you. That's everything. Okay, enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Gotta show you some serious creds, huh? Does that work? Dr. Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. Super rich guy? Used to own System 1? Focus on the rich part. Why are you giving me his card? Yeah, he totally wants to buy the climate control on. Yes! He's getting on in years and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. Yes, a very close look. I guess you can take a peek. Don't bust it though. No promises. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Yes, call him all you want. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Shall we go check it out? Oh. This ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Should I switch it to snow mode? That might help. Snowing? Okay, people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. That was Excellent easy. Work. While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Hmm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be 
we are suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. What, just, just because they're there? Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. They may even point us to the true culprits. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, maybe we can catch them. Oh now I gotta chase them? Oh boy. Huh. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. Hmm. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Ah, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. What are you turning into a car? We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. That seems really dangerous. I guess I don't have a choice. Excellent. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. How's the search for the data cache going? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? No can do, little guy. Yeah. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Unless... Oh no. Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Alright! That went faster than spit on a skillet. I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. The back door I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Wait. Oh, shit. They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter-intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. What's a VI? Virtual intelligence. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive, and definitely not sapient. Hmm. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers if you're willing to pay for a good one. I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Oh no, not a mini game. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Just push on the map and load it up on Turin's face. Sorry, Turin. They're on the move! Here's how it works. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go around. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this V out from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this little trick is over. I'll tap okay. into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. 
we only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to shortwire the auto cab. Shortwire. Okay. Be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. What do you think our next move should be? Oh, I'm not even gonna click on it myself? Okay. Uh... Don't let them move east? Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now. Don't let those punks escape, and don't trap them anywhere that's not here. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead, and we should be able to get them. Got it? Mm -hmm. Did I just screw myself? I might have just screwed myself. Whoops. They're getting away! Don't panic just yet. I managed to force the cab to mosey back over to your grid. Definitely a one-shot trick though. Those VIs are all over the path I used. Be careful, y'all. This is your last shot. Unfortunate. I can't really reactivate anything though, can I? Wait, you can go straight back there though? Hmm. Send you back here. Do I have to turn two at a time? That makes no sense. No! No! They've exited the cab. Oh, I see. And I've lost connection with Tom. They must have cut the connection. But perhaps all is not lost. I can pull images of those kids from my memory. I see. I needed to. Stop them at all four of that? Okay. Ah, oh, did not really understand that. To try to find them. That sounds like a good idea. I'll put the pictures in an email and send them along to her. Maybe she can use her police resources in a way that doesn't put things at risk. Snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Hey folks. 
Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax network. That should help our hunt. Did you get the data cache? No luck there yet. Oh, rats. Well, y'all will get it, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure. But we've got a strike while the iron is hot, so it'll have to wait. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're going to be moving their logs from one secure server to another. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Um... Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. I really don't feel like we're the good guys. Really? Can we really not stop it? Don't bug it. It already seems to be in a stormy mood. Well, maybe we should at least return the thingamabobber. Hey! <laughs> I told you jerks not to break my ROM! Now I can't get it to stop snowing! Those protesters are gone, but I'm still not gonna have any customers with it freezing like this. Oh. This hassy hot cup is the perfect thing to warm me up. Are we getting trounced? Oh. Snow? Out of nowhere? I guess I'll wait it out in here. Wow, look at it out there. So magical. Uh, don't think I've forgiven you, you dingus. <laughs> I better go get some hassy hot cups going. Well, all's well that ends well, right? I'll check the mesh for common issues with the mode selector on the 6703 ROM unit and forward the solutions to the Hassy Bar owner. I'm certain she'll be able to get it turned off after the customer rush. Yeah, for sure. Actually... Oh, what? Okay. Huh. All right then. I don't think. All right. Um. Can I go in? Welcome to start. Okay. Let us in. You again. How about exactly been a great date partner here? This is exactly what I needed to get my mind off things. Okay, well, as long as you're happy. Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? All right, then. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in. But if anything happens, you broke in. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. Okay. Weren't you at the Hassie just a moment ago? Oh well. Bend the Nexus node, here we go. Oh, what is this place? This is the place Tomcat said we should head to. Unassuming and quiet. Be honest, I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground.
Don't be worried about getting mugged. I can't help it. Stealing a ROM is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreants out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Though, I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. That I know of, anyway. Fan, generator, apartment door, street art, door to exit. Okay, one by one. Maybe you should break it. Smashing them apart. Maybe if I pour the milk in this time. That would be funny, but one moment. This is the door to an apartment building. It's not the access node. Don't! The access node is next door to this building. That's the wrong place. You don't let me do anything, do you? Don't wake the Nabots! Nabots? Did I say Nabots? I meant neighbors! Sorry, I'm really tired. Besides, this is the wrong door. All right, all right. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. The simpler tags, visual shoutings of identity and existence. They exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with, but it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. Petty vandalism is beneath me, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles, in the mid-2030s, legalized the tagging of mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city. That seems quite unbelievable. It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. <laughs> Perhaps I will visit once this is all done with. Um, gonzo journalism. I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? I don't even know what it is. Direct participation? If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. Hmm, I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light. Perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? <sighs> and we're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? My memory processors are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken a toll on me. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Let's find Hayden. This is the door to the access node that Tomcat told us about. We need to use the buzzer to get inside. Buzzer. Parallax Lock, AN-19 Security. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Friends of Jess? I was wondering when you'd get there. You had the access node on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, right? That's right. Good. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? This conversation never happened. 
And you're on your own if you get caught out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. This is it. Let's go inside and I'll call Tomcat. I should have poured milk on that thing. This place doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. I hope the systems are still functional. Oh, I forgot you can't see in darkness. Maybe that switch over there adjusts the lighting. So much for not touching anything. Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Forwarding video and audio. Howdy! Y'all at the access node? I'm set to slice in once turn makes physical access. Of course, Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Just pat yourself into the Lynx terminal down there and I should be able to get started. Connecting wirelessly to it now. Permissions granted. Uh, please be careful in there. Don't worry, doll. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. One sec. Oh, shoot. Y'all have a bit more to do before I can get the info we need. Mini game number two. This system's still running on old cassettes, and the recall slot is empty. Can't call up Hayden's info file without it. There should be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Pretty sure all that one was used for was phone monitoring. You know. From back when phone networks were separate from data networks? <laughs> I swear, y'all, I just turned 22. Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Figure out how to do that and hit me back up when you've done it. Um. Touch? No? Warning label. Oh, I could die, couldn't I? <sighs> Loose wires, be careful. Okay. Sample. These aren't either. Data transfer on, maintenance log, security report. Okay. Uh, close manipulator. on them to move the data now and we'll see if we can't slurp it right out of this network trunk. You would have thought that someone would have noticed and decommissioned this access node when the neighborhood went to hell, but... 
This mouse is happy to play while the cat is away. Way back when I was a youngin', when I first hacked into Parallax's network, I mostly did it to make a point, yeah? They were just about to launch the MeshNet system, and I wanted to show the whole darned world that their security had more holes in it than Swiss cheese. Of course, I wasn't too shy about poking in a few more holes of my own devising while I was there. After putting in some more tricky software backdoors, I went ahead and deleted this access node off the maintenance schedule. Mm. Then, I reassigned the guy who was supposed to keep an eye on it to a different location. They were in the process of buying up a whole gaggle of these nodes in preparation to set up a private network for themselves. All just to use for the mesh net launch. Maybe a little too confident of them. Most of the software holes have been patched out as they've upgraded their network, but this old place is just as forgotten as I left it. Why would they move the data? I've been targeting one of their data centers with a botnet-driven DDoS attack, hitting every port into its network that I can find. Ain't likely to do much, but toss in a few attempts to crack the firewall and their VIs are shitting bricks. It's standard procedure for them to move their sensitive data to a different data center in case the attacker actually gets in. Make enough noise and it'll scare them enough into taking some defensive action, which is where we want them. The files are more vulnerable in transit. That's how we're done. Now y'all just hold tight. I'll be done with this lickety split. Who writes this stuff? Surveillance camera footage. Yeah. Let me guess, we're being watched. Oh god. Oh, Turin. Oh, is hidden dead? <sighs> I'm so sorry. What is it, Tomcat? What did you find? He's. he's gone. Of course he's gone, Tomcat. That's why we're here. Shit. I, I mean, he's gone. Gone, Turin. Hayden is... Hayden is dead. Well, that obviously isn't right, Tomcat. Why would they kill him? Can you send me the relevant files? You must have missed something. I I don't think you should see it, but if you're sure. Parallax, they had security cam footage from the hallway outside Hayden's apartment encrypted on their network. Just a short clip. It looks like Hayden started to struggle with a couple of big dudes when they broke through the door and one of them shot him. Kind of weird not to just delete this footage, but okay. I also found some chatter about it on some darknet channels. It wasn't a kidnapping. Somebody went there to murder him. I'm so damn sorry. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. I think I'll walk back to the apartment. I need some time to run some calculations about this new scenario. If you'll excuse me. Should you follow them? Um, really? What is the point of these options if I can't actually do what I want to do? If you say so. I'm gonna keep digging through this data until they kick me out of the system. I'll try to find some kind of lead on why this whole thing started in the first place. Maybe I can find something out about who killed Hayden and why Parallax has a copy of the footage. Well, it ain't much of a silver lining, but we have the answer on Hayden's fate. Maybe it's time to call it quits. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.
you're back. How's it holding up? You know, Hayden was a brilliant programmer, far ahead of his time. I am a machine, and intrinsically, I do not have all the glands and visceral chemical reactions that make humans so emotional and brilliant. But his code is a flawless replication of that, inside my own personality algorithms. I don't think I've ever felt this... this... anger! It fouls my processors, and fills my RAM with frustrating, half-finished plans of revenge. My motherboard burns in my casing from how little I can rest. I'm in pain, and I can't make it go away! <sighs> I do not like the thoughts I'm having about the people who did this to him. Turn it off and on again. I, I could. I can disable those modules. But if I turn off every emotion I don't want to feel, what does that make me? Would I still be me? If I were human, turning off my emotions would be seen as extremely unhealthy. There is a wealth of information on the meshnet about human psychology. I just don't know how much of it applies to myself. Either way, Hayden deserves my grief. It is my way of honoring him. It may be the only way I can. I offer it freely. Did you see the jade plant? Its death is unfortunate, but fitting. Yet another thing to be guilty for. Will... Will you keep helping me? I... need you. To find the... B bastards who killed my progenitor! I need to finish this. I'm going to a revenge fic now? what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. Uh Them and the truth. What does the truth mean anymore? What does it matter? Will finding the truth bring back Hayden? Will it fix the pain they've left me in? But I I guess you're right. Knowing the whys and wherefores will bring closure to this. I could use a measure of closure. I think for now we should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. It may give us an edge if the people we seek don't know how much we've already discovered. We'll talk after you've had some time to rest. You likely need sleep, and I need some time to... Process? I need some time. Morning. I trust you slept well. You're still here. I had ample time to recharge my internal batteries. It is upsetting that Hayden is gone. But life for the rest of us goes on, yes? We still have a mystery to unravel, and I will waste no further processing time over something I cannot reverse. There is no point. 
Now that we are both refreshed, I feel it wouldn't hurt to recap our progress and determine if any changes should be made based on our successes and failures. Let's talk about how things are going so far. Um, <coughs> about that. Since your journalistic efforts are a big part of why I originally recruited you, we can start there. Your inquiring mind has been a huge boost in our journey thus far. Hmm. As a ROM, I can't talk to people as intently as you, so I must say I'm quite grateful for your skills in that regard. You're diligent in your day-to-day -day work as well, which further grounds my hope in you. Um. Beyond journalistic persistence, Let's take a look at how we've performed in other responsibilities. Specifically, our choices in overcoming obstacles. <laughs> our first major hurdle proved challenging, but we made use of our surroundings and found a creative avenue. Furthermore, I am pleased with your utilization of non-violent methods. Eliminating any excessive risk should allow us to move swiftly. Finally, I was quite impressed by your ability to adapt on the fly, as they say, and perform so well when thrust into a sudden situation. Pretty sure I filled that last one. Lastly, I'd like to discuss how we're getting along with our companions and allies along the way. It's important. Well, those kids we ran into managed to escape us. So for now, it's a blank. Jess is a bit of a harder read, but she did agree to help us out in a big way. As long as her brash nature doesn't tempt you to lash out, I think things will go smoothly. Detective Rivers was good to involve as well, and I can tell you enjoy having a familiar face around. She could prove to be our greatest aid, as long as we make it worth her time. No funny business. Tomcat seems to genuinely care for our cause, and I have no trouble with letting their expertise guide us. Why are we going through all of our allies one by one? Out of everyone else, they seem to be easiest to get along with too. And finally, you and I. I must say, we have worked together better than I ever expected. I hope you feel the same. I feel confident in our combined ability, and I enjoyed your company as well. Please, continue showing me around the city as we continue our search. Unfortunately, we've just about run out of leads. Perhaps Tomcat was able to find something of use in Parallax's network while they were inside. I hope so, but I feel a little bad for relying on them as much as we do. Always going so far for Hayden. They must have been close. Oh, speaking of them, incoming call from Tomcat. Forwarding video and audio. Morning. I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. Well, okay. Just say the word if I can help out in any way, you hear? Of course. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had a desire to target him. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax servers before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. A lot of it's unrelated. TPS reports, maintenance logs, juicy meat for other corporations, but about as useful as dirt to us. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on who's behind this. Though, I, I recently got a strange request from a friend of a friend. Someone's been messing with the articles of a news organization named Augmented Eye. Seems like the network security head there is asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their reports are getting changed. The original files on their servers are untouched. In their system, everything looks peachy keen. But when you view the site from the outside of the network, things are changed up. A word here, a phrase there, 
It's subtle, but often has a big impact on the article's tone. Someone with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's being shown. I ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye? Her name is Zinf. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a stranger, but it seems like your kind of deal. Hmm, it does seem to be a bit of a stretch. Just a bit. But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... Happy to look into it. Alright, I'll pass the word along that you'll be in sometime today to stick your noses in. And I'll send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. Excellent. Thank you, Tomcat. We are grateful for your continued assistance. No problem, Turin. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. You've been through some shit in the past few days. I said I was fine. Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. I have already handled the reality of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. I'm, I'm just worried. So, uh, I'm here if you need anything. Understood. I apologize for my tone, Tomcat. We'll be in touch. All right. Later, turn. Okay, we have a lead, however tenuous. I've highlighted the Cos IO Corp office building on your map. That wasn't well done, Turin. Also, while we were talking to Tomcat, I received an email from Dr. Fairlight. Displaying. Ah, greetings. It's even... Voice? I hope you'll forgive me for a voice-only message, but I'm undergoing my treatment and would not call myself presentable for a video call. I mean, it could just send words, too. Still, I wanted to inform you of an idea I had while looking into our mutual acquaintance's disappearance. Disappearance? I haven't had any luck with my contacts inside Parallax. But I was reminded of an old friend by the name of Melody Flores, who may know more about the nature of Hayden's research. She's the owner of Flower Cybernetics, and Hayden has been known to work closely with them on projects involving the intersection of Parallax's systems and the implants that Flower designs. Melody and I are no longer on speaking terms, so I'm afraid I can't introduce you. Hmm, sounds good. But perhaps the intrigue of Hayden's little robot will get you entry into her home. I hope this lead serves you well. If you need anything else from me, I will be in and out of the hospital room where we met for the next few days. I will send word if I have any other insights or discoveries. Yours, Dr. Yannick Fairlight. Interesting. I had no knowledge of Hayden ever working with Flower Cybernetics, but now I'm starting to understand just how little I really knew about his research. Maybe this melody can reveal more about the purposes of my construction. Hayden must have kept my development secret for a reason. Hopefully we can talk our way in. I have highlighted Melody's home on your map. Okay, we can now either follow Tomcat's lead to KCOB or Fairlight's lead to Melody's home. Up to you where to go first. Tomcat's led us in the right direction so far, but Fairlight has resources and his tip might end up being more relevant. It depends on what you want our focus to be on in terms of tracking Hayden's trail. Should we follow the media or the tech? It's fitting. They're the two factors that make Neo SF so unique and wonderful. 
If we explore them both to the fullest, there's no way we won't be closer to the answer. But can we explore them both? Well, guess we'll explore at least one of them next time. Ciao!